On Saturday, October 28, 2023, author Alike Foundation and Okere City organize its annual Poetry Prize Award Ceremony at Elefante Commons in Gulu City, Northern Uganda. The Poetry Prize were for student poets from 20 secondary schools in Gulu and Lira cities respectively. More than 272 students participated in the Poetry Prize. During the award ceremony, student poets from the different schools were tasked to recite their poems to entertain guests in attendance. The theme for this year's competition was in the footsteps of Okot Pabitek, a homage of one of Uganda's literary giants hailing from Gulu. The guests in attendance included Peche Laro Division Member of Parliament, Honorable Reverend Charles Onen, Geoffrey Otim, the Mayor of Peche Laro Division in Gulu City. The biggest challenge we have noted in this region is that the culture of reading, the reading culture has gone down, down, especially in the Sabrina. We don't have much books, regular books in our stores, in the library. Most parents consider schools in Northern Uganda in Uruguay, in the Sabrina, as schools and places. It was a fierce competition and the winners walked away with 1 million shillings, 500,000 shillings and 300,000 shillings for the first, second and third positions respectively. The winners also won books from a court Pabitek offered by his family and other literary customized merchandise by the author Alike Foundation and mentorship opportunities. During the award ceremony, Jen Bitek Langoya, daughter of Okot Pabitek, testified that her father still lives in his books and in the writings of the students. She was also excited about the talent identification and mentorship program and asked that this should be an annual program. We met with Alike, it was on Facebook, and then eventually came to my office and then it said, that he wanted a theme for this year to be in the footsteps of Okot Pabitek. It was very heartening for us, and of course we agreed. And I'm hoping that something to do with the poetry tech can continue, at least on an annual basis. Because the poems we have here today, they are phenomenal. I want to be a poet by I want to take his take. For our society is at stake. The one from Kitgo. Sandra Auma, one of the judges who represented Professor Okumu Charles, who chaired the panel of judges, narrated how the team identified the winners and what was considered in evaluating the poems. She also expressed excitement and optimism in the future career of the student poets. The person who said, if you want to keep anything from an African, put it in writing. If they were here today, they would be turning their seat. Because they're not here today, they are turning in their graves. Because they do not have us in mind, right? Because they think you cannot write and you cannot read just because you're black, right? We are here to disprove the theory because 247 children writing from different places of Ghana and Jordan, you did great. We are proud of you. Traditions, customs, and norms, which must be respected, not manipulated. 
Chila no hago no es como ni cuero. Ya no me quiero cuero que la hago. The top 20 competitors in the 2023 Poetry Prize will embark on a coaching and mentorship program through the author Alike Foundation and Okere City. Their poems will also be edited and published next year 2024. The author Alike Foundation and Okere City Poetry Prize received support from the community and community-based organizations like Hashtag Gulu, Luo Foundation and Mega 100 FM. We also have children who have similar interests who could also excel, who have this talent, but they are out of school. How do we then reach out to them? So hashtag Gulu comes in to uh, give a platform for inclusion for children who do not have the opportunity to be in school. Meanwhile, we also encourage you who are in school to keep in school because there is a, a, a big future ahead of you. We deeply share love for children and weddings. We are all aware in Ugandan syllabus there is nothing like great writing in secondary school and therefore for anybody who is still doubting what we are doing, whether in schools, in the community, I am telling you that Mecca FM has committed, Keresit has committed, if the individual statistics have committed, I have the mayor here that has committed, I have here the company of the founder of Kotwa Director committed, what are you still doubting? So to Keresit, Thank you so, so much for joining and accepting to work with us. Thank you so much. I am the phenomenal woman, the true blood of our children. Now, to those who are reciting poems here, in December, we're going to have the first of his kind, and it's going to take place here. Student Poetry Slam. You win now, you earn your money now. The best spoken word artist will win some money. In December, it will happen. So it doesn't matter whether you're coming from Arua, whether you're coming from Lira, we're going to do our first attempt at slam poetry. You now know how to write, you need to know how to speak to. Okwan Pamite, in most of his works, I still encourage him that we must love what is ours, protect what is ours, Cherish what is ours. Protect and give what is ours. What is that which is ours? Africanicity. We, we should be having many writers in actually some reading. But what happened? Because there was no mentorship. I appreciate Anike for this great initiative because we have been to this school here. This kind of event was, was never there. You've never seen it. And there was also music performance by Lampy Joseph, a 2022 second runners-up in the Poetry Prize who now uses his poetry in his music. Joseph stirred hearts of the young audience who now look at him as their star. As the day came to a close, the words of young poets echoed in the hearts of everyone present. In the spirit of artistry, creativity, and a love for teenage poetry, the author Alike Foundation and Okere City have left an incredible mark in the life of the student poets of Northern Uganda.